going up, internet. Oh, I'm invincible. Schooling all y'all like I'm y'all's principal. And I laugh when I'm high because it's simple, too. It's like a really big bark from a poodle, dude. Yeah, rough, rough, rough on a Facebook status. Y'all be talking about trucks, but you draw a dog stress. How's it feel to be owned by a chronic asthmatic with a tongue so lethal it's a semi automatic? Yeah, I didn't go with a glove box. Behind my seat, got a 12 gauge full of buck shots. And no, it ain't a threat. My truck is just my toy box. You know, I'll get wild when I sit that sir rock. I'm Irish, dog. What you expect? I got a super like a devil in flesh if you press in my butt. We have mail. We got this in the mail today. Didn't take too long. I was kind of worried it wasn't going to come, but it's just kind of because I ordered it on a weekend. But it is here now. Here we go. It's all rolled up nice. Woohoo! Ooh, that looks good. Let's see. There we go. No instructions, but oh no, there is. It's uh, it's in the middle. So uh, we're gonna have to let these sit out a few days, obviously, to get them not rolled and bent. All right, y'all. What we are doing now is prepping the four wheeler. Hey, Delgado the plastics and stuff for the decals later on i just washed i'm gonna have to clean it again with some cleaner on all the plastics but for now i've got to take all these stickers off because the decals are going to go over them i'm going to take all of those off there's also a big trx 450 badge right there on that side we're going to pull that off shouldn't be too hard heat it up with a heat gun or a hair dryer peel them off clean it with something to get the adhesive off and we're going to get those put off i am also going to take these warning labels off you just snip the rivets on the other side and kind of pop them off with a screwdriver we're going to pull those off just because i don't really like the way they look we're going to pull these off and um probably pull this honda sticker back here off i may try to get a new one but we're going to prep this plastic real quick all right, y'all, so we got all the stickers pulled off. We got the two from right there. We got the two from right there. Actually, there was a lot more stickers under that one that was a, um ATV Park um, registration sticker or something. There was about two more under that. We also went ahead and took off the warning labels just because I wanted to. Warning labels never helped anybody have any fun. Pulled those off. It was pretty easy. There's rivets. Snip them off. And... Uh, just pry that thing up a heat gun really helps so we've got all these pulled off we're going to prep the plastic sometime later on and get these uh decals and stuff put on here so the day has come we are putting the new graphics wrap on the four-wheeler so the other day i had to sit here and punch all of these holes out of that one and out of that one, I don't really know why they have all these holes. Maybe it's for ventilation or cooling or something because these go on the gas tank. So, yeah, we actually got two hood or nose pieces. This one is too big. It may be for a race style hood without a headlight. Mine has a headlight still. So we are using this one. I don't know what I'll use that for. Probably something eventually. Popped these out, and we have got to clean and prep the plastic first. All right, so I just got this rear fender on. The way it fit, I already took this warning label off, but it was good because it kind of went over on there. Because I tried to, this is actually one piece, and this is one piece. So I tried to mesh this seam right here together as best that I could. So I think it looks really good so far and uh get all the uh bubbles and the water out from under it and uh we're gonna keep going and get the rest of this done all right so we just got this left side gas tank put on looks good i've got a little wrinkle right there but it just is what it is sometimes i also got this hood piece put on looks really clean
All right, I give you the new wrap kit on the four wheeler Rebel flag. Looks super clean. I like the look. It definitely looks a lot different than it has before without it. It's pretty clean right now. A little dirty still, but it looks really good. This is what I've been working on. I apologize for the um, lack in uploads recently. I have been, um, I tried to go and um, go ahead and upload this and when I went to um, run through all the footage and edit it, it didn't have this final um, video that I needed to show y'all how it looked when I was done. So I had to wait for a day. That was nice and I had some time to come out here and um, finish filming and um, Anyway, we got this done. Looks super clean. Um, so yeah, we have got this done. Um, summertime, me and Malcolm have already been fishing. Um, we've got a few honey holes we're gonna go to and uh, try to get some big fish out of. And uh, thank you very much and uh, stay tuned till next time.